In the realm of entertainment, John Aston emerges as a luminary figure. His raven black hair and a distinctive trademark mustache add in an intriguing touch to his comedic performances. Amidst an array of cinematic and small screen endeavors, it's his portrayal of the iconic Gomez Adams and the timeless creation, The Adams Family, that etches his name into the annals of memory. A Baltimore native, John Allen Aston, saw his first light on March 30, 1930. The embrace of his parents, Margaret Linney, and the esteemed physicist, Dr. Alan Varley Aston, nurtured his early years. A sibling bond with his younger brother, Alexander W. Aston, born on May 30, 1932, deepened their familial ties. Their home was nestled in the heart of Bethesda, Maryland. The corridors of Washington and Jefferson College beckoned John, where he embarked on a journey through the realm of mathematics. Curiously, the realm of thespian arts remained far from his mind. A chance encounter with Thornton Wilder's evocative play, Our Town, ignited a fire within him. The stage's allure began to entwine with his aspirations, birthing a newfound reverence for this expressive medium. Yet, the college's lack of a dedicated theater program steered him toward a new path. Thus, a transfer to Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore ensued, forever altering the course of John's destiny. In 1952, he emerged from its hallowed halls armed with a Bachelor of Arts in Drama. John embarked on his acting voyage, stepping onto the grand stage and making his Broadway debut as an understudy in George Bernard Shaw's acclaimed play, Major Barbara. Simultaneously, his voice resonated through the airwaves as he lent his talents to commercials in the world of voiceover work. In 1961, he donned a small uncredited role as a dance chaperone in the cinematic masterpiece West Side Story, where he portrayed Gladhand, a well-meaning yet bumbling social worker. The film, a soaring success, claimed an impressive 10 Academy Awards, including the prestigious Best Picture accolade. During this juncture, John's comedic prowess caught the discerning eye of actor Tony Randall, who recognized his knack for humor. This auspicious encounter led to guest starring roles in various television sitcoms like Hazel, 1962, headlined by Shirley Booth and Dennis the Menace, 1962, featuring Jay North. The charm of his performances also graced The Donna Reed Show, 1961, and Harrigan and Son, 1961, with Pat O'Brien taking the lead. Additionally, he made memorable appearances in an episode of Ben Casey in 1962, another in The Twilight Zone in 1961, and yet another in the Western series Maverick in 1960. However, John's greatest claim to fame materialized between 1964 and 1966 when he became the charismatic protagonist of The Addams Family, a captivating television comedy revolving around a peculiar and eccentric family. Inspired by Charles Adams's cartoons published in the New Yorker magazine, the show was an instant hit. In this eerie yet endearing world, John portrayed the eccentric millionaire Gomez Adams, the patriarch of the offbeat clan. His raven-haired wife, Morticia, portrayed by Carolyn Jones, had a penchant for nurturing a man-eating plant named Cleopatra. Their daughter, Wednesday, played alongside a headless doll named Marie Antoinette, while their son, Pugsley Adams, found delight in playing with dynamite caps, adding a touch of whimsical mischief to the family dynamic. As the enchanting allure of the Adams family began to fade after two years of being a resounding success, John embraced a new phase of his career. Undeterred by the show's cancellation, he graced the screens with guest appearances in various beloved television series. In 1967, fate paved the way for him to don the enigmatic mantle of the Riddler in two episodes of the second season of Batman. Frank Gorshin, the original Riddler, had to step aside temporarily due to a contract dispute. The substitution stirred some discontent, but Gorshin eventually reclaimed his role for the subsequent season. Venturing into the 1970s, John continued to make memorable cameos in shows like The Partridge Family, 1973, Policewoman, 1975, 
Marcus Welby, M.D., 1975, and Welcome Back, Cotter, 1976. However, the ultimate nostalgic reunion occurred in 1977 when he once again brought the flamboyant Gomez Adams to life in the TV movie titled Halloween with the New Adams Family. From 1977 to 1978, a new opportunity anchored John in the role of Lieutenant Commander Matthew Sherman, captivating viewers with his charm and wit. This venture unfolded into high seas comedy Operation Petticoat as he navigated through 23 engaging episodes. The series humorously revolved around a U.S. submarine's hilarious journey as it found itself hosting an unanticipated cohort of female nurses. In the 1980s, John Astin graced the small screen with his magnetic presence, making delightful guest appearances on iconic shows like Different Strokes in 1984 and Saint Elsewhere in 1987. As the calendar turns to 1995, he rejoins the latter series for four additional episodes, masterfully embodying the cunning real estate developer Harry Pierce in three of those installments. Between 1986 and 1990, John secured a recurring role in the beloved Night Court, portraying Buddy Ryan, the biological father of Judge Harry Stone, whose tumultuous past as a formal mental patient added a compelling layer to the narrative. In the 1990s, John continued to weave his magic across various television landscapes. Notable appearances graced episodes of Burke's Law in 1994, The Nanny in 1996, and The Hughleys in 1999. The new millennium ushered in fresh opportunities, with John leaving a mark on the popular series Becker in 2000. Five years later, he took on the role of Norman Warner in the heartwarming television movie School of Life, an enduring comedy drama revolving around a dedicated teacher competing for the prestigious Teacher of the Year Award. The year 2018 found him lending his voice to the animated series Justice League Action, portraying the character of Uncle Dudley. He journeyed through marriage three times, with actress Suzanne Hahn being his first spouse, their union beginning on March 26, 1956. Together, they experienced the joys of parenthood, welcoming three children named David Aston, Alan J. Aston, and Thomas E. Aston. As life's chapters unfolded, the couple eventually parted ways, parting on June 14, 1972. John's second wife was the late actress Patty Duke, who had had a troubled life and was eventually diagnosed with bipolar disorder. The couple wed on August 5, 1972. They had a son, Mackenzie Alexander Aston. John adopted Patty's son, Sean, and raised him as his own. However, the tale of parenthood held an intriguing twist. Patty Duke brought her son, Sean, into the family, and John embraced him wholeheartedly, adopting him and nurturing him as his own. Yet, amidst the tranquility of their family life, whispers of uncertainty hovered over Sean's paternity. Patty herself had claimed that John, who was married to Suzanne Hahn at the time, was indeed Sean's biological father. However, media speculation cast shadows of doubt, with Desi Arnaz Jr.'s name emerging as a possible contender, fueling scandalous rumors surrounding Patty's past relationship with the then 17-year-old Arnaz. The mystery surrounding Sean's true lineage began to unravel when he turned 14, as Patty chose to reveal that Desi Arnaz Jr. was in fact his biological father. This revelation sparked the dawn of a new relationship between Sean and Arnaz as they navigated their newfound connection. As time continued its relentless march, a startling revelation emerged when Sean was nearly 26 years old. A relative of Patty's former husband, Michael Tell, hinted at a potential familial bond between Sean and Tell. Reflecting on Patty's impulsive marriage to Tell, who had been sublet in her apartment at the time, their union lasted merely 13 days before being annulled a year later. Determined to uncover the truth, Sean underwent DNA testing. In 2001, he revealed that Michael Tell was his biological father. Despite maintaining relationships with all three men, Sean regards John as his father. John stated that his spiritual connection with his son is more important than DNA. 
After 13 turbulent years of marriage, John Aston and Patty Duke divorced in 1985. On March 19, 1989, John wed Valerie Ann Sandoval. They reside in Baltimore. Thank you all so much for watching, and goodbye.